Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing another collab video with April at the Simple Rugged Path. Um, today we're talking about vocab or spelling. Um, today I'm going to share with you my review of Wordly Wise. Um, my daughter is in third grade and um, hasn't really done any spelling programs prior to this year. Um, we've just been kind of stuff that I would give her, but nothing um, book-like. Um, she just started this book after Christmas um, because she had finished. She did a less. Or she did the first semester um, with a cursive writing book, and um, then we picked up spelling after Christmas. Um, this is my first time using Wordly Wise, um, and I really love the layout. I love how it gives you f five or six different lessons to learn the same amount of words. And um, like I said, she's third grade. And I feel like she is at the age already where she can do this book pretty much on her own without a lot of input from me, which is great so that it kind of frees me up to help our kindergartner. Um, so I'm just gonna take you through kind of what each part is. Um, this is lesson one and the first day um, you get the word list and it gives an explanation of what each word means um, and so she just kind of goes over this, reads them all, gets an idea of the words. Um, the next day, um, part 1a, you look at the word and um, you figure out the meaning. So like these are spelling words from the last page um, and you figure out which one means which um, of your words is this? But th means this, um, like to move up and down, and she chose flap. Um, and then same thing here. Um, and then like this lesson was um, all of the words are related except for one, and you have to circle the one that's not related. Um, this one here is apply meaning. Um, which of the following is equal to a yard and it gives you options and like yard is a spelling word so um, she just went back and could look at it and um, figure out that three feet is a yard and so it kind of just instills the, the spelling words and their meaning. Um, this one is um, you read through it, it's got some spelling words and then you answer some questions um, and then there's always a vocabulary extension and it will give you, it will use one of the words that's from your spelling word and then you write sentences that have to do with that. Um, and then this is a hidden message and so you use your spelling words to fill in the blanks and then you move on to the next set of words. Um, so, so far she is really enjoying this. She does this without any complaining. Um, like I said, she can do it without a lot of prompt from me. She doesn't need a lot of input from me. So um, I think it's a great program um, unless she just gets tired of it or something. Um, I plan to follow through with this curriculum as long as she wants to. And I plan to start um, our second daughter on it when she, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I plan to start our second daughter on it when she, um, gets into school. Um, she's in kindergarten right now, so we're just working on the basics. So that is my review of Wordly Wise. Um, if you're new here, hit the red subscribe button and um, um, don't forget to check out April at the Simple Rugged Cross and um, I will have a link to her channel below and I will also link the playlist for um, this homeschool collab so you can go watch what some other homeschool moms use in their homeschool.